Thank you, Santosh, for switching me in. And hello, good evening, and welcome everyone from wherever you are watching. I was really excited for this particular session on blogging about and everywhere. I hope uh, your earlier learning with other sessions have been going pretty interesting. We really learned about the vitals, uh, progressive web apps, which will be coming in up upcoming days. Also, I told about AMP. But here I'm going to talk about something else, something that's everywhere. So that's AMP everywhere. Uh, let's start with a little bit about introduction about me. I'm Aman Sharma. As said, I'm a founder and CTO at Wimbit. Wimbit is a research uh, tech company. And also, I'm a lead at open source mobile web community that is named as mobile-web.net. Also, I am a quite frequent member with AMP and Open Source Initiative. So let's get started. Uh, if you have attended yesterday's talk from Solar Blast, where he talked about Web Vitals 2.0, you may be familiar with how much Web Vitals are actually important for not just normal developers who are developing websites, for people who are developing big applications which requires front end and codes like that. But, uh, Developers have always struggled with switching between fast and compelling kind of system. Uh, some of these frameworks are fast, but they are not compelling. Uh, some of them are compelling, but they are relatively slow. So what we can actually do over here? Hmm. Plus, I have seen that the performance is not consistent. Sometimes it performs amazing on Chrome, and sometimes it's just like, you know, not that fast on previous browsers like Internet Explorer and things like that. But if there was a framework or maybe it's just a proper infrastructure which ensures that everything, you know, works fine on all the platform. So all of those are over now. AMP is here to rescue you. AMP is trying to make the web fast one platform at a time. And today in this session, we will go through all these components one by one. To quickly start with definition, Hiren already covered most of the important stuff about AMP. So AMP is a web component framework for easily creating user-first websites, stories, ads, emails, and more. And we'll be covering a little bit about all these four components that are website stories, ads, and more. So if you look in from a framework kind of perspective, it's like almost what there is out in, in terms of web. And all the uh, web frameworks are actually doing that. So we can say the army of AMP as Avengers, something like that. AMP Avengers, like Avengers, if you get the joke. But uh, it's about speeding up the web, uh, website stories at an email format. Uh, if this is overwhelming for you, don't worry about it. I'll be touching all the things from introduction to how you can get started and how you can step into the actual technical world. So AMP offers a lot of presence across different uh, uh, platforms and different components, let's say. The first one is AMP websites, which is the most commonly used. It's a way to create flawless web experience, mainly websites. Then you have web stories, which is a very interesting and new way of getting an interactive story in the form of web. Also, you have AMP ads, which is a super fast uh, platform to deliver ads to your audience. And then you have AMP emails, that is just going to change the way you see email forever. So let's start with AMP pages first. So AMP pages, as said by Hiren also, it's a way that how you actually create uh, different uh, websites on the web. And it's a very like easy and user-first website way of the like, user-first way of creating website with AMP. So here is where the first AMP everywhere concept comes. If you see uh, the caching generally is done by CDNs. CDN stands for Content Delivery Network. And you might say, OK, I already have my website on Cloudflare or similar CDN servers, which almost cost me nothing. That's great. But actually, CDN is not that easy. You have to remember if the person is actually loading from which region, uh, which kind of content is actually loading. You need to ensure the language barriers and other things. That There are a lot of complicated things. And it's just so overwhelming that you are not enough just a web developer. Now you have to become a uh, DevOps and system engineer also. So AMP is here for you to rescue. Now, if you see the blue flags on this map, these are edge servers, and these are actually the Google's edge server. Let's say your site is located somewhere near web servers in New York, and uh, you want to provide a CDN support which is spread across everywhere. If you create your website with AMP, Google does this job for you. Using AMP ensures that all your website is cached on Google server actually. So if recently, if you have seen a news on 
Google search, uh, at least on mobile, you will be able to see that there is a small bold icon that appears on the top search results. That bold icon is not just to say that, okay, this is a fancy way of a kind of flash story or something. No. This actually tells the audience that this is the most safest and most fastest among other results. So let's quickly see an example. I have an example which can show you how this thing looks like. So I have modded my web uh, this browser a little bit to show you a result. And this is a very trending story about Vikas Dubility. And let's see what kind of thing app is doing. So you will be able to see there is a bold icon on this NDDB first result, which means they are app. And then you are also able to see there is uh, dynamic search results, which is also powered by app. If I click one of the results, you see how fast this actually loads. If you closely look at the URL, it is actually google.co.in slash app. So this is my proof of concept that app actually cached your website. What this actually means that your website will be loading better than any other website. When other websites are just struggling on loading the basic files, your app pages has already loaded. It's like it was always there in the search results. Isn't that awesome? And this was done without you setting any network or CDN at all. You just created your AMP page and Google does just of the things for you. Other benefits of AMP actually, AMP pages actually include a very flexible and very less complex way to code, which performs amazing and different kind of standard like compatible layouts on Google search results. It also improves the overall user experience. They can directly you know, interact with the, your search results directly from Google search, and your core business metrics are also intact. You don't need to develop a lot of things to make your website cost. Uh, consider website building with AMP like building something with Lego bricks. So the components that you need, these are the building blocks. And it doesn't matter how much you use it, the performance will remain consistent. Even if you use a single AMP component, or you use 100 of them. AMP will ensure that your website loads with 100% performance always. Plus, if you are not a sneaky coder like me, like uh, building AMP pages is fun and easy. You don't need to remember a lot of JavaScript and all that. In fact, if you don't even know JavaScript, you can add a lot of interactivity just by using AMP components and AMP interactive actions. Also, it's a sustainable way to create an open web where everybody has a shared responsibility of making web faster. Plus, you don't need any kind of modules or any kind of server-side rendering or anything like that to make sure that your website is fast. It is all automatically applied through various web touch points, including web vitals, page like speed score, and everything. So these are some of the success metrics for those of you who really think that, OK, invest me by numbers. So you see there is increased traffic. There's increase in the mobile search results and also increase in the faster load page time. If you're a publisher, this will be very, very interesting to you to use AMP for your websites. This is a kind of Hello World DIY example of how you can get started with AMP. As told by Hiren, you start with a HTML document declaration with the bold AMP emoji icon. This is actually something that I haven't seen with any other web component framework. So this is pretty cool, using emojis to write code. And then you have uh, some boilerplate code that includes uh, some CSS boilerplate and also the required JavaScript component files that have actually needs. Then everything you want to include in a website goes inside body. But wait, you can't use normal HTML over here. You have to use all the AMP HTML. Don't worry about making errors. There is a plugin called this AMP validator, which will help you correct your code or issues that you are having instantly while you code it. So let me give you a quick example of how a validator looks like. If I'm on the correct page. So this is amp.dev, and I have installed the amp validator extension over here. And you can see that it is currently green. Green means good, right? So this is how you can actually see uh, the validation results. But let's go to a different side that is maybe having some little bit of errors, maybe because our developer was not active enough. And let's see if it's uh, how, how our validator shows the results. So as you can see, the website is loaded. And the page is not detecting it as app. So this is the difference how you can detect and not detect an app website. Second thing on the list is AMP Playground. If you are a first person about like setting up your own IDE or code editor, don't worry about it. 
you can try out almost all the component directly inside AMP Playground on playground.amp.dev, where you can easily see DIY examples from different, web, uh, different components that AMP offers, and you can try them out even without writing a single line of code. You can also test out your own website by importing the URL now, for example, this amp.dev, and when you import this URL, it will tell you if it's 100% valid or not. And you can see the responsiveness and its effect on different screen sizes. Isn't that amazing? Next, for those of you who okay, work like WordPress, WordPress has a AMP plugin. Most of the Indians actually create a website with WordPress. And you can just start with adding AMP plugin and test out if your website is 100% AMP valid already. Chances are, if you use one of the supported theme or plugin, your website will automatically become AMP without you writing a single line of code. If you create projects with frameworks like Next.js, it also has AMP support to create super fast web experiences. Okay, that's amazing. We created an awesome website. But aren't we spending most of our time looking at these cat stories on Instagram? Uh, I was doing that. I actually installed my Instagram a couple of days before. But the concept is it's so fast and like you know fun way of interacting with the content. Actually, according to our report, uh, it was found that capable experiences have been the best uh, content consumption format ever. But there is a small catch over here. You can't actually view them more than 24 hours, right? Or you can't just share it with someone who doesn't have Instagram. That's where the solution lies. This is called web stories. It's exactly like pulling out the story concept from different platforms and bringing them to web so that you can create them and share them with anyone. So web stories are actually narrative visual uh, interactions like you see on the screen, which are easily capable, uh, provide you a full screen effect. You can add your animations, you can add background narratives and create uh, the fast and fast loading experiences to tell your content in a narrative format. And Again, it offers the same capability of AMP caching and AMP speed that AMP website offers. So let's quickly go and see how does that look like. So our community mobile web dev actually has an AMP story as its landing page because we wanted to do things differently. So let's see what happens when I click on this link. As you can see, there is a bold icon over here. And as soon as I click, this story actually loads instantly. And it actually opens on google.co.in. Right now, we are hosting the story using, uh, you see, this is Google Web Server. But if I interact and reload this mobile web or dev, we actually hosted this with GitHub pages. So this tells you that you only need a static hosting. You don't need any dynamic hosting to do that. Also, you can add a bunch of other things like Google Analytics and uh, integrate it with different dynamic frameworks to create awesome dynamic things. There are other benefits to AMP stories too. As you can already tell, that it's a beautiful and engaging way to create instant available content. Also, it provides you editorial freedom of creating your own branding and not uh, putting some names like Snapchat or Instagram on it. It's totally yours, you can share it anywhere. It's easily shareable and linkable on the open web. You want to add it to uh, your website using an iframe, you can do that. You want to share it as a college presentation assignment, you can do that. You are fighting for an NGO cause. You don't want people to download an app for you to tell a story. You can do that with AMP stories. You can easily also measure the track, or you can also easily measure and track how much well your AMP stories are performing. Now, let's take a step deep into what this track and measure actually uh, means, because this is the most interesting one according to me. Uh, generally, when you uh, add analytics to any website, you can only track how many people are coming to the website. Uh, how much time they are spending. You can also see where they are going and how they are exiting the page. But you cannot actually see at which section they are going, which section is interesting. Them. But with AMP stories, you can track individual tabs. You can track at which step of the story they are actually going on and make content changes accordingly. And of course, it provides the same AMP fast uh, nature as always. This is the best and immersive way of telling a story. Let's start with a small example of how you can create an oral story. Now, assuming that you have already added the AMP story tag in the HTML doc type, you have to actually include uh, the AMP JavaScript library inside the head tag. 
then you have to declare the app storing standalone component inside the body and you cannot include any other html code inside it if you are including app story it works only in standalone mode then you include some information like what is the title of your story uh, the publisher in this case that's your name or your startup or company's name you can also add publisher logo so that it appears as a title icon or a watermark at some places and you can also include a cover image if when you share it on twitter on other platforms how does it appear on so understanding the way amp story is created is similar to how you create stories on instagram but it's just flexible and you can create it with code so let's imagine the cat story that we are creating the clouds are actually your background and the mountains are your cat so these are the different elements that you can place on different positions of your screen then these elements together form a layer which are clubbed together again you can also add multiple layers so that you can create a good animation effects and add some kind of 3d parallax effect if you want then these layers together forms different pages for the am story and then you have the full am story which is offered as a single link this is a code view of how you can uh, like create amp story in terms of code so in the main tag you have amp story standalone component inside that you declare different pages amp story page for example id page 1 for the first slide then id page 2 for the second slide and then inside the uh, individual page you have different layers you can add a story grid layer and apply different templates like vertical horizontal or text nature and then inside the grid layer you have your elements You can know more about AMP stories by visiting on amp.dev/about/stories. If you are not a code freak and you are a visual designer, content designer who is freak about it, AMP offers a solution in that case too. AMP recently launched something called as Web Stories Editor, which you can install in your WordPress uh, website and create uh, easy uh, web stories just using drag and drop options. You can also share these stories as an individual HTML and host it and so we'll give it a try. Okay, so we made the web fast, we made the web interactive, but what are these things? Huh? I guess this is an ad. I'm not fat, but ads are a way to reach out to the customers, no? But why this cat is crying? Maybe this ad is not that fast at all. This is why it's crying. Exactly. Nobody likes ads. but what they don't even like more is a slow ad and this is an ad which saves your uh, slow loading ad from your website and create an awesome experience for publishers in a first glance you know seeing is believing you can see a difference between a regular ad and an ad a an ad actually loads six times faster than a regular ad and it's just like instant then like waiting for the ad to load and then it loads so the publishers and different marketers and advertisers has find great metrics and value proposition using amp ads in terms of revenue in terms of click through rates and the total loss because ultimately your customer decides your nature from the first impression that you have nobody wants to come on your website and wait for your amp to get this ad to load plus why he should actually waste his data on stupid ads that actually use a lot of javascript so amp ads actually solve all these problems other benefits that amp ads includes is an end to end experience control what this means the user starts with a, a very fast web experience from a google search results query lands up in your amp page which is also fast sees a fast amp ad then click on the ad perform the action which is also fast so everything is fast and it doesn't feels any lag or uh, any white screen whatsoever to the whole journey plus it provides you easy measurability of your ads by implementing the same tracking that you would do with a uh, manual ad control by using uh, amp pixel and amp analytics you can also reduce your complex operations of managing different ad agents and things like that by just implementing component based amp ads to different publishers it helps you maximize your revenue because ultimately a happy customer is a paying customer right and your technician doesn't need to know everything amp ads is powered by the same collaborative amp community that runs all these fast projects so they help you out at every point ultimately this means a return a good return on investment or whatever you're doing to put on so let's see a quick example if uh, if you are like with me still like in the code zone uh, so this is normal html code 
and we are going to modify this with ambars. Now we will continue the same tradition of adding the bold emoji icon with four ads, which declares that it's actually an AMP HTML document. Then we will add a AMP ads JavaScript library inside the head. Add some little bit of boilerplate code so that everything looks fine. And then voila, everything about your ad goes inside the HTML body. Again, remember to use only AMP tags inside the body. And it should be 100% valid too. In this example, you can see we have added an AMP IMG and we have linked it to amp.dev. For edit control and visibility, we have also added amp pixel, which helps us track how much our ad is performing well. And ultimately, this is how our code looks. That's it. To know more about ads, you can also visit amp.dev slash about slash ads. Or I can show you a live example from the playground as you know. This will be a good practice to see how actually playground works. So as you can see, if I change it to AMP ads, it obviously show 169 ads because this is an AMP website, not an AMP ad. So let's go ahead and try to find a slides ad example. Now, as soon as I load it, you can see this is loaded instantly. And this may be a website and you want to sell this, I don't know whether this is Yaz or Audi, but whatever it is, it provides a fast ad experience in, time, in terms of carols. And you can see it's 100% valid. So you can go ahead, add it to your publisher's website, and it will perform amazingly fast. OK, amazing. We have also created ads, which is a good way to reach out to your audience. But do you remember how we actually communicate these days on the web? How did you actually receive the registration confirmation? Maybe, what was it? It's email, right? But next we can do the emails. If there is an email like, uh, alien conference and they're discussing about let's come up with ideas what next we can do with emails what do they, they suggest maybe they will say let's call them a new thing like a gmail or email or a hey which is very popular these days or we can also introduce ads to increase a little bit of the menu after all we are providing them for free but one sneaky person among you will actually answer let's make them interactive and he'll be thrown away Nobody will understand what, what are you saying? How can he be interactive? But this person actually lands up to work and he creates AMP emails. Yes, guys. Now, this is obviously not the actual story how AMP emails come into existence, but you get the story. AMP email is interactive and a dynamic way of creating emails, not just sending some kind of text and post or kind of raw material to a person in his email inbox, which is very old. But Imagine what if you can provide an interactive website or an interactive app inside his email inbox where he just doesn't need to go outside your email to perform an action. This is what actually what AMP email actually does. If you see in this example, Goai people in India recently tested out and sent out a survey form to all of their partners. And they were able to respond directly with this survey directly inside their uh, email inbox. So they don't need to go to any external link to actually apply for it. And they saw that it has it had a 23% increase rate than a normal email. AMP email is currently supported by Gmail, Outlook, and Mail Ali. I hope you are not on Yahoo Mail yet. But if you are on all these platforms, you can already try how AMP email works out. So benefits, obviously, everything needs to have benefits. You have increased email capabilities. It's not just a poster slide or text that you are sending someone to email but actually some interactions that they can perform inside the email inbox. Next thing, you can increase the personalization. If you want, you can load the dynamic code from your backend server and show some kind of customizations, such as if you are a, a retail provider, you can show customized objects in his inbox rather than sending him the same email that you send to everyone. Also, increase, it also increases the customer experience inside the AMP email. They can perform different actions, like giving ratings, filling out a form, or just giving your feedback. It's totally safe and secure, so don't worry about that it's an experimental feature or something like that. And it's totally consistent and scalable. You don't need to worry about scaling up any infrastructure or thinking about, okay, do I need another SMTP server or something like that. And it's an improved and smarter way of providing services to your customer, isn't it? So let's go ahead and see a small example of how AMP email looks like. So again, now you are already understanding this thing with me that there is a tradition of using emojis in AMP. 
So first thing we will add a HTML document declaration for HTML bold emoji icon for email. This tells our email client that this is not a normal email, guys. This is something outstanding. Then you have your AMP script loaded inside the head tag. Then directly you add all of your HTML code that you generally add in your email also to create an active email inside the body tag, but only using AMP HTML components. And that's it. You can also try a small example by visiting amp.gmail.dev slash playground. Somehow this feature is still experimental, so some of you might face some issues in receiving it. You might need to turn on an experimental button, but we'll see this emails to coming in mainstream very soon. So seems very really nice, right? Let me give you a small example of what you can do. So I have created this small code of AMP email where I'm asking for a survey. Generally, what you would do with the survey is add a link and then a person open the survey form and then he'll be able to answer, you know, the reply to whatever email you sent. But in this example, I have asked for an option and when he clicks on the option, depending upon his mood, we also ask him some more information and then he can set, uh, send this feedback. Uh, we have also set up a backend server which receives this feedback and that's it. Let's send this email out. I have uh, turned on the experimental inbox feature inside my email and you can see pretty much in my primary email that I have a AMP email. This is a little different than other emails. It says that it's a dynamic email, which is the character for showing that it's an AMP email. Let's see if it works or not. Uh, so how would you rate your ears conference? Of course it was awesome. Let's send them some feedback. It was amazing. Keep it up. Send feedback. That's it. It's done. I didn't uh, press on any button or change my window or anything like that and perform all the action inside the AMP email. Isn't it great? I hope you are uh, going smooth with me, guys. And we have we are almost up to what next, which means we have covered uh, pretty good components like AMP websites, AMP stories, AMP ads, AMP emails. What can we do next with AMP? Where else it can go? If we have to establish an ad, maybe we can create a native app like experience that you know what happens in a progressive web app if we add that. Wait, that's already possible. Tribune has already tried it and they have seen a wonderful response to this thing. They have seen increased user engagement by reviewability and readability. So you can also try out using AMP inside PWA, which will create exactly a native experience. Plus, it has just graduated from OpenJS Foundation. What this means is that it's now more accessible and open to different developers, which means that uh, people can independently drive the AMP uh, whole platform and can get new features as per their choice, as they want it. So how can you become an AMP developer? I think that's what you are thinking. It's simple. I have a small riddle for you. Simply go and solve this. Uh, I don't think it's too tricky, right? What is this? A bold icon, a black circle, Oh yeah, that's a big dot. And then a person using MacBook. What is it? The bold icon is for AMP. Oh, this is AMP.dev. Yes. Or uh, anything that you need related to AMP, just visit AMP.dev. You don't need to go through a complete uh, XYZ certification or read a full book to learn AMP. You just need to know the basic implementation characteristics of AMP. And the rest of things you can just go anytime on AMP component catalog and click on the component to see how you can implement the component inside your website. We have also, uh, with Mobile Web Dev, done a small crash course a few days back, which is an extensive course to go from 0 to 100 uh, in AMP. And we covered almost everything in AMP website, AMP stories, and in AMP emails. So go check it out if you want to learn more about AMP. Also, this is totally by the community and for the community. So means we all are equal part of it. You can go to amp.dev and start seeing how you can actually contribute. Maybe there is something that is just missing for you. You can also report any issues that you find with current AMP platform, and this will help make the better, uh, AMP a better place. If you visit the AMP GitHub repository, you can also already see there are so many contributors that are working around with AMP, and there are so many things that are regularly coming on AMP. You can also join our Indian community mobile web dev, where we actively participate in different conferences that do AMP. And that will be a healthy way of, you know, making world better place. 
So that's amazing. We covered web vitals, have 100% course on lightning and everything. And not just that, we have web vitals covered not just in website, but everywhere. And that is the best thing, guys. So I hope you enjoyed the session with me as I enjoyed by telling the whole amp story. If you have any question, do remember to ask me in the ask me anything session. And uh, sorry for bothering you with so many memes, but I hope you enjoyed. Thank you, guys. Have a nice one.